Hi everyone, I'm going to take you through um, a couple of exercises that I like to do first thing in the day um, to get myself ready and warmed up. I've mentioned in the low horn um, video about how to expand the low register an exercise I call pitch bending. So this is going to be um, us playing the pitch bending exercise together. Um, I'd like for you to get your horn and play along with me. I think this could be really fun. So here's how this goes. I'm going to demonstrate where I start and play one sample first, then I'll explain to you what to do, and then we'll start over and we can try it together. So that was an open overtone series pitch, descending pitch bend. I start on second line G, this is horn pitch, which would be a concert C. I play G, E, C, I sag my pitch uh, and bend down to low G, and then I do the same thing, sag and bend, trying to play as fa uh, flat into the partial as I can until the next partial pops out all the way to low C. I do that all on the F horn, no valves. Relax for a second, take a breath, then I push down second valve, no trigger, which takes me to F sharp, D sharp, B, low F sharp, and then pedal B. So let's try this together. We'll take a pretty slow tempo, but not too slow so that you can try to fight the urge to breathe in the middle. We want to try to connect the embouchure from our middle register to our low register, keeping the corners forward and the, the, the fundamental setup solid so that we're not smiling and puckering and rearranging things just to get the notes out. You want to try to keep, remember, everything moving on a vertical plane. So you have the video here to watch. Um, see if maybe you can set up a mirror just next to it and, and follow along with what you see um, me doing with what you see yourself doing in the, in, in the mirror while we play together. So here we are. I'll stop in between just to refresh um, your memory on what the next uh, overtone series is as we descend. We're going through the descending fingering system. So here's the first one, which was open. No valves. We're starting on second line G. One, two, ready. <sighs> Second valve. First valve. First and second valve. Second and third. First and third. All three, first, second, and third. Great job. I'm going to do it one more time. This time I'm not going to stop and talk in between. So remember, open, second, first, first and second, second and third, first and third, and then the last combination we have on the F horn, the longest one, is first, second, and third. So I try to go about this speed, and at the end I hold out the last note for three counts if I have enough air for it. I breathe on beat four and I start at the top of the next pattern. So here we go. Start over, <clears throat> open horn, second line G. Try to crescendo and really dig into the low register so that, that, that the last pedal note, the fundamental, really pops out of your horn. One, two, three. Thank you. 
Great job. That's a lot of workout. Uh, hopefully you, you had some success with that. Um, even if you're not able to leave, uh, reach that very last pitch right away, that's a good goal to work towards in expanding your low register, and it's just a great way to warm up in a nice, relaxing register before you start the rest of your day. So let's call that pitch bending with pack. Try it every single day for a couple weeks. Let me know how your improvement goes. Um, I'd love to hear from you and get some feedback, or if you need any uh, extra help, send me a video file so I can check out what you're doing and try to help you through it. Enjoy!